Welcome back to another episode of Fact or Freestyle. Where we uncover facts from BMX. And now we're going to find out what's going on. Let's see how far down this rabbit hole we go. Ray, Ray. Hi, Ray. So, are we on? We're live, buddy. Me and you so far. What up, what up? Hey. Hey, happy belated. Thank you, sir. How old? 41? Uh, no, 57. No way, really? Yep, 57 All years right. young. All right, you look good. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, I feel really good. All right, good. Good. How are you? I'm going to try to get, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm going to try to get through this, but we've been extremely busy today. So <laughs> I don't anticipate, uh, hold on oh, you're, one you're, you're, I don't you're anticipate. Working. I am, yeah. Hold, okay, hold on. well, no worries. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at the fire, uh, firehouse till tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it's a little yeah. choppy. The service is a little choppy, it seems like, but we'll make it work. For me? Uh, yeah, for you, we'll it seems it like close. it's. What's the weather like there, Kevin? Uh, it's not too cold. It's a little bit rainy today, like probably 50 degrees, but it's just, uh, it's been hectic. A lot of car accidents. And, and we got a, we got a crazy lady who's mixing cleaning products that keeps the car department. Joe, what's up? Hey, Kevin. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good. Are you all right, Joe? Are you? I uh, my, my flight was delayed because somebody had like a heart attack or something on the plane. And so I missed my connection. Right. And so now I'm in the lounge making making memes of Eddie and the A Claire. And I can't I could not be happier. Dude, that Eclair thing is the funniest thing in the world. Hey, guess what? We got a buddy of ours who's driving this this rig, this really cool VW. Um, he's going to Grand Junction, Colorado. And uh, so we threw some stickers on it. And if you guys see this on the road and you happen to notice, you know, the FMG and the-, the I, I, I saw that it's just, he's got the homeless sweatshirt on. The homeless sweatshirt sets off the eclair. Like you, and you can't say a clair, like e, you have to emphasize the E. Isn't that right, Kevin? Kevin, my brother, yeah. what's up? I haven't seen Kevin in goddamn 10 weeks. What's up, buddy? Oh, nothing. We got to come up to Connecticut one of these days. You still live yeah, there? We got to plan. We got to plan something. Yeah. How's how's Philly? Uh, it's sixty degrees and raining. The sun just came out. Yeah. Things are good though. We're living large. Wow. Christmas. We're not. Joe, where are you? Are you in San Diego yet? Or are you still stuck? He's not oh. listening at all. Dave is the worst listener in the history of the world. You'd be the worst psychiatrist. Because people would tell you shit, and then you go, "Wait, what's that? You're doing well, what? what did you say? Wait, you wait, wait, that guy, is, Joe, wait did he just at? jump? Where are you at, Joe? Joe? Joe's in Maybe Oregon, American. getting ready to pop out of a cake for your birthday with Josh White. They aren't, aren't you? Don't you listen to anything? Where are you? He at, and Eddie. Joe? He and Eddie have eclairs for you. It's Ron Wilkerson with the half a mo. Hello, Ron. Ah, Joe, where, Ron. where are you at, Joe? I'm in the American Airlines lounge in Phoenix Airport, awaiting my new connecting flight to San Diego. I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> Not as sorry as a guy that had a heart attack on the plane. 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> you could call hey, Rick sorry, Allison. What? Hey, sorry, what happened? He's in the lounge. Joe's lounging uh, today. Joe, mama. I'm eating, I'm eating free food like catfish. All right. What's going on? Nothing. How you feeling, Ron? Pretty, pretty shitty. Dang it's it. Matter. Sick. I got, yeah, I got the flu from Xander. Oh. I got, ah. I got two sicknesses back to back from Xander. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Sucks. Oh, hey, Kevin. What's up, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa whoa uh, geez. yeah it's horrible yeah i felt that from here uh, i got some on me yeah <laughs> oh. okay so stefan isn't gonna make it because he's at hockey with his kids and we're waiting on brian i could message brian to see what about lung mustard he's a key component right um he said he was yeah. he did the thumbs up I think he's coming. He likes to be late to make it look like he's really busy when he's just sitting at home with his thumb up his ass all day, literally. So, <laughs> well, you could be, you could reach literally. out to him. You could reach out to him if you want. Scratchcock just walked behind you, Joe. Did you see that? That was him. Any guy with a cowboy hat is Scratchcock. Oh, we better hope oh Ken God. doesn't get a call. It'll be like yeah. Engine 51 fucking flying the fuck out of there, dude. Emergency threes today, 51? baby. Threes. Three? What's engine threes three mean? Engine three. Oh, you did three it's a, already. It oh, mean, no, no, no. Engine three, it, engine three, I'm water supply today in the district. Oh, uh, okay. So you just got to hold the hose? No, no yeah, <laughs> kind of. Like, I got a guy I got a guy for that. I, I, I'm in charge now, so I stay back and judge. Yeah, that's perfect. There's Captain Blyther. The Look at that. Blyther looks like a goddamn sniper. He must be on a fucking mission. He's ready to fucking throw a warrant out at somebody. Look at that shit. <laughs> What's damn. up, Brian? I don't see Brian. I see Brian. He's there. Scroll, scroll over. Talks. Oh, there you he go. Be, and he Whoa. ain't going to a Halloween party. God, look, if we get two more people, we'll get the fucking village people. We got a fireman, a cop. We need a construction <laughs> walker. <laughs> Ryan, do you have a perp in the back? YMCA. Ron singing YMCA. Oh, oh God. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, Brian's audio is working. Yeah. He's driving. Nice. He's driving. What is it? Look at it. got fucking the shotgun in the back. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, get, let, me get my, let me get my truck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, for all in our <laughs> office. Joe, if you kidding. can get in the cockpit of the airplane, this will be epic, dude. You'll be in the cockpit of an airplane. <laughs> Blyer will be in a cop car. Ron's got the flu. Kevin's in the fire truck with the number nine on. <laughs> all right, oh, damn. Ray, would you would you mind messaging Mark just to give him a little nudge? No, he, he he knows. This is part of his deal. He knows. I don't try. You think I'm gonna fall for his bullshit? Would anyone like to message Mark to just no, give him a little reminder? To. Maybe he forgot. Thanks, no. Joe. No, don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. Okay, I appreciate you, Joe. Raise my life coach. <laughs> what the hell? Out. A nice nice badge there, Officer Blyther. We can't hear you, Brian. Brian. What do you got? Tomatoes in your ear? <laughs> Brian really looks like a cop with that mustache. Look at the well, it could be the shotgun next to him that tipped you off too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that adds to it. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Okay. So. Damn, now I can hear. 
Now we hey, go. Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey. Why there's in the house? There's Brian. Hey, I got called into work, so I'm uh, going to be spotty. We're doing a, uh, a Santa patrol thing that I got to do. Drive Santa around the neighborhoods. Nice. <laughs> hey, swing by, check on my car. I did. I check it. I check on it every couple of days. Nice. <laughs> I adjust your sun, your uh, your little sundial oh, my, top uh, to solar, get the maximum sun charging. for the battery. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna come out after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Yeah. I'm gonna come out, do a week of camping or something. I don't know. Sweet. Maybe I'll join you. Yeah. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. Sounds good. Dude, no. so I'm sorry Xavier didn't win. What happened? What happened? Xavier didn't win the city council spot. No, he got uh, he got beat by the incumbents, which is pretty normal. It's hard to beat them once they're already in there. Yeah, yeah, I got you. He came close, but uh, the next one is uh, like in a year, and it's going to be a little easier one to win. Gotcha. So, he'll get in there eventually. Right on. I'll probably be retired by then, but anyway, he'll get it. <laughs> 42. 42. What's that? So I'm just confirming we have the machine audible around the Dave, how much money has your GoFundMe raised for this epic tour? Uh, let me look. Let me look. I haven't looked for a while. Does anyone know? Is it over three hundred bucks? Three hundred twenty-two dollars, I think. Yeah. What's What's the number? Forty-two. That's from the last poll we had about October twenty-four. Who's talking? Is that a ten twenty-seven? Dispatch. That's a dispatch. Oh. <laughs> Why was no, it going it's, in? It's a, a four-five-nine. He's getting ready to kick. He's gonna fucking kick a door in whether he needs to or not while he's on this call. Yeah. <laughs> fucking it's fuck a, someone it's up. A burglary man. in progress. There we go. Let's yeah. go, man. Put on that yeah, body the, cam. And... I'm Hold responding on, I from Connecticut. I see, I see the fucker running right now. Hold on. I'll let you see. No. Him. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I see him running. Here we, here we go. Chase. Oh, this is so good. This is the greatest <laughs> thing ever, dude. Wait, I gotta go no right way. there. <laughs> he's in this. He's in this little low rider up here in front of me. Uh, <laughs> might be Xavier. Uh, it could be, but I think it's. Uh, Can you pit him? Pit his ass, Blyther. Pit him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Blyther's <laughs> heart rate is still at fucking forty. <laughs> Yeah, I know, kidding. Right? <laughs> he looks chill. Uh -huh. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, yeah. I'm busy right some now. I'm on a call. I'm not gonna mess with him. Some people need a second chance in life. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? What's up, Walker? What? I have the flu. Oh, you look like you got the flu. Yeah. If that helps. Yeah, get him a sucks. glass of tang. He'll be fine. I got, I got two yeah. thicknesses in a row from Xander. <laughs> are, you, are you afraid to take a COVID test? Um, I know I actually got one here, but I'm pretty sure it's not COVID. Yeah, because Xander didn't you have it. It's, you wouldn't be able to go to work for two weeks. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, Xander. Xander had the flu, and I just got it from him. Oh. Uh, and then right I, before. Yeah, I got another sickness from Xander. <laughs> I had it. No, no, you didn't get it, no Russian flu? Uh, just from Xander? Just from Xander. <laughs> oh, all right. I already got the Russian flu. <laughs> you got that one for life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Did he? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I dropped off for a moment. Is Brian actually in a criminal pursuit? No, he he's getting <laughs> right now. He's like back, yeah. back to normal. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Don't 
don't talk to her like that. <laughs> I have to, uh, I'm actually going to the car wash to wash this thing. So it looks pretty. Nothing important. Man, it's got to be looking good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the total is $644. Oh, that's yeah. plenty. That's plenty. The last donation, the last donation was uh, one day ago from Marcus. And um, yeah, it seems like uh, we probably have a little bit of work cut out for us. So Dave, I have, uh, I have the, Z I have the yeah, zine I have the completed. And I'm going to give them, I'm going to send copies to Scott O'Brien for Circle of Balance and build the hype amongst the Flatland Illuminati. And then I'll be able to sell those, or we can sell them. Um, the, the, curious, the curious. Who's gotten the zine? Has anyone on this call seen the zine? I have not seen, I saw a couple posts about it, but I have not seen an actual hard copy. <laughs> I, I know Wilkerson's Ron, got one. I have the original. Ron has the original prototype. I missed yep. the zine pulling party. Oh, so Kevin, <laughs> I, Kevin, I didn't do it both sides, and I only did it one um, side. And so it has a bunch of blank pages where I'm putting OG stickers on them, and yep. it's like just super fun. All right. I thought cool. it's because. <laughs> I thought because your printer didn't do both sides. Well, I could, the way, I mean, no copier does both sides. You have to like put half them in and then flip them over. And I, as I was prototyping it, I was like, wait a second, I can sticker these and I can get sponsors to send me stickers and I can sticker them all. You can send them to bike shops and have the interns sticker them to test if they're like good enough to work in the shop. If they put enough care into it. So it worked out quite nicely. Cool. Okay, so we are probably how many months away now? 18 months away? Has anyone yeah, thought about that? About, yeah, just about. Uh, Ray and I had an idea. So we time. could we could leverage um, Hollywood, Eddie Fiola, to get us into contact with Corey Feldman as an opening act, and we wanted to discuss that in committee. You do well, I, I like it. I can't hurt us. No, <laughs> not at all. He's got he's got a fan base. He's got a full '80s fan base. So you nice. combine his '80s with your '80s, and I think '80 and '80. What's that? 120. It's just good least, math, isn't it? It's at least one forty. Does Brian leave the the lights on while he goes to the car wash? It looks yes. like the lights. Are <laughs> <off>. Yeah. <laughs> so <Do> hypnotizing. <laughs> Do you have the lights on, Brian? Do you have the your siren on too? I look fresh. <laughs> Brian, do you get free car washes yeah. as a police officer? Yeah, I get, I get, I get free uh, washes. Yes. Oh, what's That's the awesome. what's the list of free stuff you get for being a police officer while on duty? There, okay, car washes is one. What coffee else? There's gotta be other stuff. Coffee, and coffee. I haven't worn a uniform in nine years. Oh, really? Oh yeah, undercover man. That's right. You caught me. You caught me on a fucking weird day. That's so funny. I have a feeling you say that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. You're gonna hand dry it. Yeah, he's gonna get out and play the car the car wash soundtrack. Joe, did you message Eaton by chance? Ray told me not to. Uh, <laughs> you, you have to tell me these things so I know. Yeah, there, there's Eaton. You don't have to. Part of Eaton's thing is he, he wants to be, he purposely is late. And he's, he's sitting at home doing nothing, waiting for someone to go, hey, Mark, where are you? 
So we're not going to control not gonna this. Let him. Yeah, it's we're not going to do it. Take yeah. <laughs> because and if he's and if he's not available, then we don't want to interrupt him. Maybe we can start does, and then when he right. when he gets on, he gets mad at me because I talk too much. You know. <laughs> yeah, so but Dave, he's maybe been this for, for thirty-five years, forty years. <laughs> he's mad at me all the time. <laughs> I just messaged him. Oh, oh look, Dave did it. I didn't say anything about the show. I just asked him if he's still going to do that video for me about the Miami spin. Oh. Just so that. Just see what he says. Okay, so why we don't could... we get started? Um, yeah, hit so it. Here we are, 18 months away. We got $644 so we can get maybe a couple cases of beer and have a little party. What do you think? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Or a tank so, of gas and some wiper blades for the van you don't have yet. Well, all of the uh, all of the airfare is covered, right? So we do have progress well, against the budget. Yeah, so so what I've I guess I have, I don't know if I've updated Ron or Brian on this. So uh, Reclamation Bikes and Fred Gates has agreed to do the flights. I'm not sure about all the international flights, Joe. When I talked to when I was talking to Fred and really nail it down, he was a little hesitant. He needs a lot of time in advance to schedule the flights, especially international. But I feel pretty confident that we could probably get him to do the international as well. So that's a big chunk, but it's still, you know, we got to figure out how to raise some money. And I was thinking we kind of need to look at um, just all the different aspects that need to happen and basically pick what feels the most exciting. What, uh, so we could do it like what they call sprints. So we come up with um, uh, one little part of it and then we go and get it done in two weeks and then we come back. What would yeah. be the next doable thing that we could? Well, uh, well first off, before we even go there, I was just thinking about looking at what actually has to happen. And what I said in the text message was like, someone's got to really be like heading up the budgeting and fundraising so that you we're looking at all that well i can do uh, some I, I can do the fundraising i've already been doing it and i can i can continue to do a better job of that um marketing and promotions so i did do like whenever i go i bought those stickers for the um, old school reunion and then i did go to corn Hucket and handed out stickers and and told people what what we're doing um but that's like that's it's a lot of effort for very little return. Like I, 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 I handed out put probably the, put, the, put that one on me. Put that one on me. Marketing and promotions. I got you, that, fam. That's huge. But okay. Um, and then I had show, show, um, basically show and party bookings, because. We're not just booking the show, we're also booking the party. And we've had some inquiries, some through Factor Freestyle. One was a guy in Manchester, UK. Another one was in Virginia. Um, we talked about maybe doing a show at Rockville or yeah, in Rockville, because that would just be iconic. Mm -hmm. um, but I think someone needs to take that on just like when we have these calls say, okay, this is what I've done. This is where I'm at. This is what I could use help with. Um, and then the last one is the flights and hotel bookings. Like mm -hmm. those are the four categories that I came up with. And obviously I'm open to whatever else people could think of that I might have missed. I can, I can handle all the, of the uh, logistics on, on travel, the bookings to the hotels, flights and all those things. And I've, I've been doing that kind of stuff my whole life. So, so you, once we kind of nail do down. Is, yeah, I would connect you with Fred, for example, because Fred is the one that's going to be uh booking the flights and okay. like i said he's he's pretty much agreed to it and i'll work a little bit more just to confirm it and okay. um he's gonna he's gonna pay for all our flights yeah wow hey would you explain to ron where fred's money comes from uh dildos oh that are makes you okay sense. with that are you okay fred with that your mama Fred, Fred is the recipient of an AVN award. Oh, Do we yeah, have to really get one? Yes. Good for him. Put one in my hand. Dave's sitting on one right now. 
<laughs> yeah. So, so Kevin, what I'll do is I will. Um, okay. Yep. Get, I'll, I'll firm them. that up with Fred, and then I'll get some guidelines. And I'll say, okay. He wants at least. Hold on. Let's let the laughter. It's like a comedian. You have to wait for the laughter to. <laughs> You said the funniest thing on the thing so far. You said let's firm it up with Fred. (laughs) (laughs) Laughter is the best medicine, Ron. Laughter is. All right, so so we'll. I'll make contact with Fred, and we'll. uh, Yeah, and and the thing, what I'm thinking, Kevin, is that if we make sure we give Fred plenty of time. So this all coincides with, you know, I think, I think like each person takes on whatever responsibility, but then there's one person like the, you know, Master coordinator mind. to make sure everything works in place. So once we get a schedule date, let's say we get a schedule date for LA. Okay. We know that date. Then we immediately, you know, start to get that information to Fred to say, okay, Fred, this is the date. And when do you need the information by? It's generally a month, but I think even six weeks. You know what I mean? Six weeks so we can give them plenty of time to find fights. Yeah. Um, so who wants to take okay, on? But what, so when do you think we'll have these dates up? What, what... Well, that's whoever's going to take on booking the shows and parties, which okay. would be so like we put out we put it out there initially and we got some people feed you know feeding back to say hey we, we'd love to do this state or we I mean, not this state but this venue but someone has to start to field those requests and then make decisions around you know what's viable okay and we're looking at five days five cities right six six we need the LA, uh, Indianapolis is pretty likely because uh, Bill Nitschke's got something that's yep. lined up, and then uh, UK, Germany, and Japan. Okay. Um, so what's left then is um, the booking of the show and the and the parties and the budget and fundraising. Okay. And we're talking about a two-week window. For what? What part? For the whole trip. What are we talking about? No, we're going to do one show per month. Every month? Oh, okay. Okay. In case somebody gets hurt. There's a month between. (laughs) Isn't that what we agreed upon, guys? So John Peterson doesn't have to ride. (laughs) (laughs) So who wants to talk to Joe Johnson about being the understudy and just getting him to do it i'll talk to joe okay. you don't want I'll johnson out there he'd be great at the party but he can't ride anymore he's busted up <laughs> yeah his specialty has become being drunk joe i mean he is yeah. literally i mean i'm not being crap. funny he, yeah i don't think he can ri- i don't think he can do mu- i don't think he can ride much i like i don't think so, he can do like airs or anything i i could be wrong but the like i saw him ride uh, 10 years ago and he wasn't I'll make, he's no ron I'll, wilkerson you i'll know talk what I mean? Like riding I'll a bike. <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> like riding a bike. You never forget. Yeah. We'll give him a copy of Senate 43. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kevin, that's great. Because that, that will be, that will yeah, be very helpful. Oh, okay, cool. So flight, flight hotels, and then we, we have to think about car rentals too, I guess. That yeah, yeah. Be... Well, yeah, yeah, we're Ron, gonna be in well, charge of that. So, so, what's the head count on our on our group? Is it is it I us mean, plus Mark? Uh, oh, I'm not see, going Mark's, to any of these. Or Mark, just... I think we should just go with four. That's that's what. Okay. Just just us four. Yep. That's that's All what right, I so think. So a van would a van would be fine. The van would be great. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, and maybe one thing that could help like between now and the next call. And I think we should do calls more frequently guys, just because there's going to be lots of stuff happening and our lights are busy. So maybe Kevin, your homework could be to, to start to pencil down some kind of a budget. 
Okay. With yep. not so much sure the thing. flights, but hotel. Yeah, certainly. Oh. And, and yeah, we're doubling up in rooms. I take it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll I can do that very easily. So, Joe, what with your marketing, you're going to do Zine for a promotion, and then we could print more stickers. I mean, I'm traveling a lot, so I'm happy to do the. I'm going so the to idea, right? The idea behind the Zine is it's going to be available through live events only, right? And the story arc is um, how we discovered the Naked Gumby, how as your life coach, when I heard about your Blues Brothers spinoff, uh, I was intent on helping all you achieve some growth. Um, because well, you, you know the story. But anyway, the Back for More in 24 is woven into the storyline of the zine and so that's why it's important to get the zine out and have it become cult classic because that's how i'm gonna prime like the epicness of what's going on with this tour so ron what did you think of the zine did you get all that backstory did you know what was happening or were you privy of all that um, i mean you know the naked gumby story obviously because you're the one that created it but <laughs> of course i know that part um, yeah, I was just, I actually videoed myself reading, reading through it. With your reaction and everything? Um, yeah. My cool. comment. We can use that for promotional actually, material as well. Actually, yeah, I actually videoed half of it in, in Maldives. <clears throat> Which is pretty cool. Worth it. I mean, you know, in Maldives, going through the zine. Nice. Hey, Dave, has anybody looked into getting sponsors, like um, whether it's clothing or beverages or whoever, you know, people that sponsor shit? Oh, you know, I, Budweiser, I like anything like know. that? Is that. Is that something do you guys know if that'd be something where like you know you get somebody like Budweiser that's like got a billion dollars they're like hey we're gonna sponsor the tour and they could throw you you know fifty thousand dollars just for to put into the pot to do your shit and then when you have the party it's sponsored by Budweiser like it's a summer event type thing I was just wondering if I mean I've never been involved in anything um, <clears throat> like that so that's why I was asking. Yeah. I just know, like, hmm. like, if you, like, if you go places, if you go somewhere, you know, you go to the state fair and it's sponsored by somebody, you know what I mean? Right, right. So, well, let's to ask quote our, Ron our Wilkerson, you gotta, you gotta find some of those rich fuckers, you know what I mean? And those <laughs> beer places or whoever, yeah. you know, Amazon, maybe. What if Amazon, how do you know Jeff Bezos wasn't a goddamn, had a PK Ripper when he was 19 or 14, you know? Yeah, well, we'll have to ask Joe. Joe seems like he went away. Joe will so, find yeah. out. Yeah, Joe, Joe missed the mo Joe missed the most important part of this call because I spoke, and I was like a hundred percent serious, and he missed it. Fuck. <sighs> and now you're Joe. What, Joe, you got no what? sound. Oh, I didn't. There you go, Joe. Give sound now. I, know, I just went to get the car washed and came back and nobody was there. So we were <laughs> all here before. Well, I had to go out and meet with Salvador. That's the sound. Go find him. There you go. You're on now. <laughs> Joe, uh, while you were gone, I was talking about getting a large sponsor like Amazon or Budweiser or Wendy's or McDonald's or so. I was using Ron's quote. This is what they're. Where you find some I'll rich fuckers that can. I'll, I'll, talk to, I'll talk to some people. So, yeah. yeah, just maybe just source some some potentials and we can collaborate next call on what. Is makes there sense. like a. Is there a website or something you can look up, Joe, that has 
big places oh. sponsoring like who what they sponsor like is there like corporations that have a list of shit they sponsor whether it's you know like yeah well i i worked for a guy when i worked at ibm who was like who left and then he was like i really 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 want to sponsor you but you would have to leave ibm um and he now he he was working for the gap and now he's working for like a a cdn company um but I'll, I, I will put together a little pitch and tell this guy and just see if there's any interest because it's really hard to get people's attention now and everybody's looking for like authentic stories. And this is a very, very authentic and interesting story. And we've been chronicling it along the way. And so that should make it kind of easy. Oh, actually, and my other boss is just looking for a new gig if he's a CMO. So let me pitch this to some people and see if maybe we can get some like a tech company um kind of do something with it you can, you can pitch it kind of like those those movies that have like the gangsters like from like the 70s and then like when it's the in the 2000s yeah. they want to go rob a bank again but they're a bunch of old people exactly. not that you guys are old but you could be like here's what these guys were like when they were young kids and now they're back, they're fit, they're raring to go, and they're going to show what they got. And, um, you yeah. know, you can get it sponsored by, uh, you know, 55 and over clubs and I mean, stuff like that. AARP. AARP. Year, depends. Years ago, you guys, years Burn ago, juice. you guys were, like, uh, fueled by Mountain Dew, and now you're fueled by, you know, what they thoughtful do. ways of looking at the world. I got to bounce off for some minutes. I'll be back. Okay, All right, here. Fine. See you in a second. We'll be here. All right, Why Kevin, Kevin somebody? Martin can make all my decisions for me. Yes. Okay. Thanks, brother. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, okay, so that sounds great. So just maybe source some possible sponsorships and uh, and maybe we can just ramp up the ramp up the GoFundMe efforts a bit more. I mean, they trickle in, but it's 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 not going to be enough. It's I, don't know. I feel like we I feel like we need to go to like like Ray said, you know, clothing, maybe sports drinks, you know, energy drinks, whatever. Anywhere we can grab twenty five hundred, five thousand dollars, and then we give them we give them exposure, we give them banner space or whatever it is that they want. Yeah. That money. Ron, yep. what do you think? You're you're the king of putting on events and finding money. I, I think what so what are your what are your thoughts? Who who did you say? Ron. You, Ron. <laughs> Ask oh. for your input. <laughs> Regarding no, I mean, sponsorship. Definitely, money. like, probably most likely would be, like, an energy drink sponsor because they, they're they hot to do. Oh, there you go. Red to Bull. Do. See that? Jeez. But also, also, it's like, I mean, you can't even really start until until next year yeah I mean, no but i think we should get get going on some ideas and some lists and like so whether we have some corporate sponsors like joe might say some tech company or you know some drink energy drink and or clothing whatever you know are some potentials maybe just start at least testing the waters out and then because yeah, yeah, i agree should, should have, we should have a plan of this in place ready to go here's what we're going to do we would like to include you we need some yeah money. yeah exactly but right. first come up with a list of, of potentials that we feel and that might be a pretty big list so we can know that we'll get a lot of no's yeah and that's just part of it um but yeah that's why it goes to um i think i would like to take on the the show booking and partying so i will start to okay. I already got Indianapolis kind of nailed down and then anything that I come up with, I'll just like present to say, Hey, this guy in Virginia, he would like to do it. And here's a guy in Manchester. Like I have three that have reached out to us and I haven't really been really good about um, keeping them up to date, but I will get better about that. So I'll handle uh, the bookings and the party bookings, the show and the party bookings. And yeah. then but Three what they reached out to you. Say that again. You have three what they reached out to you. 
three three uh, people that had been interested in in booking us or like presenting their. So one guy was in UK, and he had a skate park, and he was in Manchester, um, Manchester, uh, UK, and he wanted to see if we'd be a you know willing to go there. Interesting. And what what does he do? What what is it? It's a skate park. It's an indoor oh. skate park, but there's also an outdoor place as well. Uh, it'd be good to have both in case it rains. Um, mm. So, like that's one. Another person was from had a shop in Virginia, who also reached out, said, "Hey, I'm interested in finding out more and possibly putting my my uh, request in to do a, one there." And then. I've been working with Bill Nitschke in Indianapolis because he's very well connected and he's got a he's got a pretty good venue that he thought would be good. Huh. Well, yeah, I mean, I, Virginia is not so hot. No, I I, I know that. Yeah, I I was <laughs> I'm going to weed out the ones that I think I think Rockville idea is a great idea because Rockville has such a cool nostalgic connected to it so if we said we did a show in rockville that would be awesome um but and then like new york is uh, another one and i have reached out to daryl i haven't heard back but that that was one daryl and all to see if he could you know give me some insights of where we could possibly do a show and, and an event um yeah i mean that that stuff would be pretty easy. I mean, I mean, I have I have sh big shop lists, and there's a lot of shops I can call. <clears throat> um, especially especially like New York area, I think that'd be our best bet. Okay. I mean, Long Island or something like that, or even. Even Staten Island, I know a good shop there. Okay. But, uh, uh, and I think there was somebody else that might have reached out to, um, for LA. So maybe we can do that one together then. Hey, let me ask a question. Who, who would a shop owner pick up the phone for and fall all over himself to say yes to? The who elusive... What? Which of you two, when you make a call to a shop, would the shop say yes to faster? Like, should we send, I, I'm just saying, should we send Ron in to get the yeses from the shop owners? I think because we should Ron get Corey is so Feldman. elusive. There's right? a Corey lot of- Feldman, yeah, I think Kevin just came up, that's great. If you can get Corey Feldman to walk into a bike shop and go, hey, I have a BMX team and I like to do a couple of Michael Jackson moves with my band. And then do like they would be like, look, let's go. <laughs> you know, I think Corey Feldman is the key to this, and I'm not even kidding. Let's maybe find some other '80s, find some other '80s people. The '80s dudes are probably very easy to come by, and they're not doing nothing. But they're Dave's falling asleep. Uh, <laughs> but. So, you know, there's other, there's a lot of, like, think of, like, stuff from the 80s that you could, that you could get. People. Nostalgia. People out yeah. there. Sure. So One Ray, person could bring, bring 10,000 people. Ray, why don't you and I try to get Corey Feldman? <laughs> Just as a side project. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to, it's probably not that hard. It's probably not that hard. So, Dave, you know? I have a question for you. Just to go back to like the the budget for the hotel bookings and all that, and the flights yeah. and everything. These these yeah. extra shows that you're talking about are in addition to the four that we want to do. So, are we going to be expanding this, or are we going to try to do all our shows like like in that area the same period of yeah. time? Like, what do you got in mind? So it's only it's only it's only six stops, one show per okay. shop per stop, okay. and. Uh, yeah, I'm so just is it three one is one it show three in one the event. US? Three in the yeah. US and then three overseas? Correct. Gotcha. All right, All just right. check. Go ahead. Sorry. So my point about that, Joe, is that 
I think Ron and I should do it together because I feel like I can bring my like a organization system and organ your yeah, systems. And, and and organize like the process and then Ron can be the he can be the front runner the cl closer. The closer. Yeah. Um that's that's my thoughts. I mean, I'm open to it. But the other, yeah. So we just have to think about the show <clears throat> and the party because how that's going to work. Are we going to be able to do that same location? Is it going to be a different location? It seems like it should be all at one place if we can. But what are your guys' thoughts about that? All yeah, no, it makes sense. All in one place, right? Yeah, I would say so. We have the crowd in that place in that time period. And yeah. it helps with the budget if we don't have to start getting different kind of venues, you know what I mean, for different yeah, events. Yeah, exactly. Ron, what do you think about that? I mean, you, you're talking about the party being the, the dinner thing? Yeah, I mean, whatever that party turns out to be, I mean, I think we just, you know, because the people want to hang out with us. So w whether or not that's going to be at the show, well, should we qualify the venue so if someone contacts us we say well here's our criteria we need a show area within a place that we can have a party or some kind of dinner. it's got to be in the same spot you know what i mean that's what you're saying right it's got to yeah, be that's in the what same i'm spot. that's what i'm proposing is that it, yeah that it's got to be in the same spot because nobody's going to go to a show and then go hey get the car we're going to drive 11 11 miles down here to then park and then go in it's got to all be at the same spot Dave's got a swap. It makes it makes the most sense. Which which limits us a little bit because you know if you're a shop, you don't necessarily have you know enough well, space. Well, Chad, to do. Chad, Chad had a shop, and Chad had his after party at the shop, and, then and it's going to be bar down out, the way. So we can put tents out, things like that, like tents out. Yep. Okay. No, I'm. I'm cool. With, I think the the idea is just to make sure that we know. So when someone contacts us, we say, okay, well, here's what we're here's what we're, we're envisioning, and have like a list of things that we need a show area, we need a quarter pipe, we need a wedge ramp, we need a party area. Those are the those are the elements. Hey, hey, Joe. Um, uh -huh. I I would find out. And like everywhere you go now, like when we were just in Oklahoma, there's dispensaries everywhere. What's like the, yeah. are there, is there like a big, who's like the biggest dispensary company, whatever, and get them to do, look at, we got Ron's attention now. Um, I was just <laughs> oh, saying, yeah, that like, would be really why, great. I mean, what's the difference between having a Budweiser and a dispensary? It's the same thing. You know what I mean? In such a good idea. In most states, yeah. And it's just a, it's just that when I watch the news, it's like, oh, marijuana is legal now in some state. And they, they've got, you know, in six weeks, we made $30 million. So there's yeah. somebody out there that has a ton of dough, maybe a bunch of good weed that could sponsor something. May, it, whether they do the whole thing or just maybe one out in California or one out somewhere. But I'm just, I'm just trying to think of stuff that has people that got the big money that would just throw... 50 grand into something for the summer because they want to see if it'll work, you know? So, yep. Yep. Very experimental promotional budget. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Awesome. Okay. Um, so the, the money side of things, the budget and fundraising, all right. We have a date that we have to get something set up by the 25th of December. So we are down to 22 days. And uh, that means that there has to be an, an account associated with the GoFundMe so that um, we'll be able to right. have access Wait. to the, re uh, of the, yeah, access to the, to the funds. Hey, Colin Joe's have, name. Do you still have your LLC? Do I still have my LLC? Yeah, I don't. Do I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to take that on, though. Honestly, I, I just I feel that this is a bit. It's a Joe bit much for me. Joe, will take anything on. He's responsible. No, well, we're, we can't we're get. We're gonna make you one. We'll get you one tonight. Joe is doing marketing, and I don't think marketing promotions. I feel like, and I I think I would also help with that. 
uh, Joe, in the sense like I'm going to the Center of Balance in two weeks. So like, what what should I do there Where? to promote this? Where are you going? Cir circle of Balance, I mean. Oh, in uh, New Orleans, yep. So I think I'll help with the, the party. So Ron, what about you? Are you able to uh, set up an account to handle the money? Um, I think so. Ron's a businessman. He can do it. It's nothing for him. <laughs> Shit, yeah, well, he can gonna, do it. It's not going to be Brian. I, I don't feel like... Kevin, can you answer for Brian? Oh, yeah. It ain't going to be Brian. It's not Brian. I didn't think this is Brian's area of expertise right here. I don't think so either. I don't know where Brian fits in the in any of these, honestly. But. Uh, I think Brian is, is right now, what I have in mind for Brian is overall security. Security. And, <laughs> and Drinking. Very, in, in a very dry sense of humor and the ability to just be deadpan and, take, and be taken seriously anywhere he goes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get, he'll get us some snacks. Oh. What's that? Yeah. So he'll get us some snacks. That's right. <laughs> so Ron, one of the things about the, the finances, so if we really blow this up on GoFundMe, because we have an eighty-four thousand dollar goal. I don't know this, Joe, but if we don't meet our goal, do we lose our money? No, everybody everybody gets well, if you don't meet your goal, everybody gets their money back. Gosh. Well. And, <laughs> And we can't, uh, okay. Dave, you have to take a loan out and then put it in. Yeah, that that's way. what you have to do. That's what you Is have to do. True? Dave, you're going to have to take a loan or just go into that vault you have all the money you have because we know you're a millionaire. You know, look when See, I'm sorry, look secret when millionaire. He when was the one generals, of the millionaires. Dave, when the generals landed on the shore, they burned the boats. They said, we, we're either going to win or we're going to die, but we're not going to surrender. We're not going to give up. $84,000 on that GoFundMe is like burning the boats. There's no way out. The only way through is through. So, Joe, okay. I think that this is the most inspirational thing I've this week. Thank you. So, yes. Yeah. And our, our work is cut out for us then in, in the sense that we're going to lose 600 and what was it? $644 if we don't. We're not going to lose raise. anything. We're not, the only thing we're going to lose, Dave, is sleep. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn. I'm getting, I'm getting ready to watch Rudy again after this speech, man. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> okay, so Ron, we'll get the information that you need to have that linked to an account. And you still have like a two-hip like business account you can use right um i mean no. i think it should should be a business account i don't think it should go through your personal because you're going to want to track it for taxes and all that fun stuff and we'll have to send you all the receipts and you know yeah um they yeah, all figure it out okay all right enthusiasm so, <laughs> all right but <laughs> confidence is what that was yes yes that was it. kevin's right <laughs> so joe do we have a timeline for the money that we need to raise 84 is there a date on here i forgot i don't i can't what date is one right what dave right what date is dave have to go into the bank when does dave have to go to the bank to get that loan is all i want to know you can put your you can put your whale's house up for collateral, you know? We, we put it out, we put it out like in 24. Yeah, Kevin's yeah, pounding exactly. those Red Bulls so like we have time, Joe, is right? on the porch, man. <laughs> yes, Joe, is that what you're saying? We have, we have time? We have time. We okay. have time. Great. So, uh, Ron, either <clears throat> Joe or I will get you an email that you'll then just link it to an account. Obviously, it would make the most sense to do a business account and then if we hit the 84,000 when we hit the 84,000 and it's just the, the thing that we have to think about is that we have to get closer before we okay. you know start to to schedule these things I don't know it feels like the money uh, I the feel most like important. I feel like I'm, I'm going to go out and say this and I don't want to be 
negative Nelly. I feel like no. the majority of our funding is going to come from uh, corporate yes. corporate sponsorships versus private donations. I agree. I mean, we we were really excited about the you know the grassroots GoFundMe efforts, and the bottom line is that it takes a lot. And like Joe yeah. and I will work on that more now. We'll be more proactive. But I still think yeah. if we have a call in like a month, I think it you know. It's only going to be a couple hundred dollars more. It's my, that's just my guess. You know? That's all right. It's the, it's the gesture. Let's find this money by any means it's, necessary. Well, if also, I got to hit the streets, I'll hit the streets. And it's also well, good for people to feel involved. You know, Richard Poehler had $13 he donated, you know, a, a month sick. ago. Great. So, you know, thank you, Richard. And, but $13 donations sick. for 84000 that's a lot. Well, I think, I think a lot of people wouldn't. <laughs> They wouldn't get serious about putting money into it until we have like dates and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. I, that's a good yeah, point. I agree. That's a good point. I agree. So, so that's why Ron, you and I need to make sure that we get that, you know, schedule start, even if we can just start getting dates and cities firmed up. So, Hey, uh, real quick, uh, before I forget to ask it, let's, um, Let's in this in this text thread. Let's everybody put their email addresses that they want included on this because yep. at, at this point forward, I think we all need to kind of be able to read these emails and know where we're at. If anything anybody can interject or help with, you can just jump in on that thread there. Uh, because then when I make contact with Fred about the, the the budget for the traveling and things like that, you guys will also have input on that as well. That sounds great. I love it. And, and Fred is um, like the Lord Rothschild of BMX, and he has lots of other people he's connected to who have similar motivations to his. And so if we're looking for that cohort that Ron described so eloquently, um, Fred is the gateway into that. Okay. He's a rich fucker? Oh. Yeah, he's yes. a rich fucker. So, yeah. so potentially, I just wanted to hear tour, you say it. <laughs> this this whole tour could be Is sponsored by, by by a dildo company, a dispensary, and an alcohol company. You can't get <laughs> you can't get more you know rock and yeah. roll than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And maybe we'll throw in like um, uh, a gun manufacturer too. You know what I mean? Like AR fifteen or something. That'll break. That'll bring the people out. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, Ray. If it turns out that David Lee Roth actually was a follower of Forty Three, then we got that locked in too. Yeah. Oh. David hot Lee for Roth. teacher. Hot for teacher yeah. is four minutes and forty three seconds. The I think they did it on purpose. Whoa. Wow. I saw him on Could Joe be. Rogan. He's like missing a bottom tooth now. He's looking a little rough. Yeah, the demo plan for uh, aging rock stars is a little uh, vague yeah. on things like that. Yeah. <laughs> what if David Lee Roth opened the tour? And that would be like, David Lee Roth and Corey, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. How, could you imagine that? Un, them singing un, and get, heck, we might as well just get Wolfgang Van Halen in there too. Unchained. <laughs> Nothing stays the same. Corey could be doing the little that. Michael Jackson spins. Oh, this is going to be spectacular. <laughs> you could get 80s impersonators. You could get a Michael Jackson impersonator, a Cindy Lauper impersonator, and then put well, Corey Feldman right in the middle. God, that's so funny. Gotta and then just bring in Dennis Rodman because he's available. That will work. Say that again. All right, that's good. That's so I think that's enough to get us moving here and into in, into lean forward. Dave, what'd okay. you have in mind for for the? You said you wanted to have these calls more frequently. What'd you have in mind? Monthly? I think weekly, monthly. Would it, I think monthly now. Monthly, monthly now, and then and then okay, start doing more frequently. Or if we feel like wait, let's let's meet in another two weeks instead of a month. Okay. But let's let's do monthly. I'm available so, every night after six. Okay. If you want to do it every night, we could do this every night. I, I'd be fine. Right with on that. to bed. 
<laughs> so, so Ron, are you traveling anytime in, in the beginning of January? Uh, I don't know. I Do can't you know? think. Okay. Well, we won't book it right now, but let's think about the first or second week of January to, yeah. to touch base again. Cool. And there's also a BMX show involved in this somewhere throughout the day. You know, all this stuff. There's an actual show that someone's going to have to ride in. I keep forgetting about that part. We'll get we'll, we'll we'll deal with that as we get closer. But right now, we yeah. financial financial logistics are paramount. Right. Well, and the and the timeline that we have, and Ron, I just want to make sure you can get that done by the twenty fifth for sure to get that link account because we keep getting Joe and I get an email every day reminding us that. And Joe, you just put in the thread. Was that for him to log in and sign up? Or what is that? That link. I in, I invited every one of you. Uh, to be admins on the GoFundMe. And um, so any of you can click on that and log in. Okay. So you're cool with that, Ron? You can do that like in the next week or so? Yeah, sure. Perfect. You're right. You're right and, in yeah. And uh, let's see. Here. And Ron, I'm putting your email in the thread. It's at Yahoo. Is that the right email? That's me. He still has a Jimmy Z email. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to sponsor the show. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, bless you. A pot seed flew out. <laughs> yep. Um, so Kevin, do, do I want to use Brian Blyther's or no. Brian Blyther? That's the what city I city email would be that's the panel, yeah. He's going to yeah. retire okay, so now, like three months. He'd leave in, he'd leave in scandal. Okay. If he's lucky. <laughs> that's how most of them go. <laughs> Fuck cops. <laughs> okay, I'm just keeping some notes here. So, uh, <sighs> Okay, so Joe, you're going to handle marketing and I'm going to help with that when I'm traveling. And you can tell me where I need to show up and what I need to do. I want to get more of these stickers because we're almost. No, done. I mean, it, no, 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 no. If you're, in charge of, if you're in charge of marketing, you just do it. If you, you, you can't be in charge of marketing and have someone tell you what to do. So no, I'm, um, well, I mean, you and I can collaborate and come up with ideas, but um, it's not like I can delegate anything. Like we'll do it together. You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm trying to clarify. Okay. Good. Someone's got to be a holder of, of each of these. I feel like. What do you mean holder? I mean, so what has happened since the last time we've met on this call? Okay. So what's happened since the last time we've met is I've done a whole bunch of um, hyping, uh, and I made a zine, and I made the naked Gumby, and I got way too many people talking about the naked gumby and i made you totally uncomfortable with the naked gumby which got lots of people into the naked gumby and so i'm priming is what they call it so that's what i've been doing since last time we had a conversation yeah and i didn't mean i didn't mean to like say directly what you have done i'm just saying since since we made this oh. announcement at the old school till now it's like what you know what has happened so i went to I handed out stickers. Six hundred eleven dollars. That's what's happened. Yeah, six hundred forty-four. Yeah. We got six hundred fifty-four dollars. Six. Wow. Six forty-four. Are you guys listening? Some in forty-three. Burn, Burn the boat. Burn, Burn the boat. Burn the boat. So my idea, Joe, was that each person would kind of like be the holder of a department, meaning the budgeting fund 
fundraising, marketing promotions, show bookings and party bookings and flight and hotel bookings and rent a car. Those four categories. That's my thought. But if somebody has something else, I'm, I'm open. I'm just trying to make sure that these things are all being um, held and, and well, worked I'll on. Take care, take care of the New York one. Okay. I mean, that's, that'd be easy. And New York will be easy? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dave should have got a job at Mission Control, like launching satellites and stuff. Who? Exactly. I would love to see Dave in like a pressure situation launching, like trying to get trying to get astronauts back to Earth. <laughs> <He's> just like <laughs> just like it'd be entertaining. He'd figure it out somehow, but just the way he would do it would be very interesting. He'd be very uh, calm. Because <laughs> I think he, he sometimes comes off as like it's not really sure what's going on, but I think he knows exactly what's going on. Look at that mm -hmm. look he's giving me. Look at that look. I'm giving him a compliment, and he looks like he's ready to jump through the screen and punch me in the face. Or slap me in the head with one of those reclamation dildos. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> the prize packs from their contests are amazing. Do we do we get free dildos? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You know, I, I uh, think is that part that's part of the deal. Yeah. Yep. So hey, if they got so those Ron, fake nuts, my son wants a bunch of those. He has the nuts he hang off the back of a car. He loves those. Oh god. He brings them to school. <laughs> Ray and I sure were gonna have him. George Gallo do product reviews for Fred. Yes. That would be something. <laughs> like unboxings, like we could have Rick Thorne do unboxings of stuff that Fred sends him. Yeah. With, with his teeth out. Yeah, the teeth gotta be out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the new anal intruder dildo. That's how I chip my teeth. <laughs> All right, so we're we're looking to for a uh, uh, call. Our next call is going to be in the beginning of January. That's yeah, that's what I think. Right. Maybe the either the seventh or the fourteenth. Right. Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, the fourteenth. All right. Yeah, seventh or fourteenth. I don't. I don't care. Okay. Thanks. And then Joe, have a safe trip. I hope you get you. to wherever you're going. Me too. <laughs> Everybody else. All right. Good seeing you. I'll Dave, talk to you cheer up. Up. Dave, smile. Dave, leave with a smile, please. Can you leave this call with a smile? There we go. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta go put up Christmas All lights. All right, I'm gonna say goodbye for Brian too. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. See you, Love, peace, and chicken grease. Peace out. Yo. Cheers. Seizures. I'm in this shit.